minutes ago. Wow, what a perfect day. Welcome to Italy. We are in Catolica to explore during four days what we can find and if we are ready to leave the Dolce Vita. So it's going to be food, it's going to be fun, it's going to be swim, of course. In this trip, we are going to be three, Bogdana, Max and me, trying to enjoy as much as we can with the swimmers, with the race, and try to show you what Catolica can offer to us. The first that I can say is that we are 26 of September and we are 25 degrees at 9.43 in the morning. So, welcome to summer again. Everyone, good morning. We are at the day zero of the race. This is the most important day for the organizers because we need to make sure that all the constructions, the venue, everything is ready for our swimmers. It's the first ocean that we're organizing here in Catolica. It's, it's really exciting to see the work of the last nine months come together in one weekend. 21 nations represented in Catolica this weekend. Every, everybody, welcome to Catolica, to the first edition from Ocean Man Catholic Emilia Romagna, Italy. We are ready for, for all and uh, we wait to you because uh, all is... We are really happy, really it's a, a big honor for us uh, to be in the calendar of the Ocean Man and uh, believe me, this is only the beginning because we want uh, a long story uh, with the Ocean Man family. First day in Catolica is coming to the end. We discovered that this is the perfect place to have September vacations because the sea is super calm, the temperature is incredible. We are going to walk in this beach uh, to meet the sunset. And obviously after this we are going to eat pasta because pizza evening was yesterday. Good morning everyone. Today we are finally the day one. What are we going to do today for me? Uh, we are walking for the place of the venue. So to meet uh, our friends that came from uh, 21 different countries. It's the day of the registration when swimmers pick up the race pack. Also, we are going to visit the fantastic Aquarius Catolica. We are in a place where people are super fan of motorcycling. As you can see, there are a lot of streets with the flags, with the numbers of the motorcyclists. This is the, the street of Valentino Rossi, but also in this hotel you can see that they have different flags from different countries and Valentino Rossi flag. We are going to enter now to the Aquarium of Catolica. This is one of the most characteristic uh, attraction that Catolica have. We are with uh, Antonella, press chief of uh, the Aquarium of Catolica. We were visiting the aquarium, but I have many questions. What about the sharks, this big shark that you got, you got here? Sharks are in the, in the central tank of the aquarium, and they are a characteristic of Catholic Aquarium because we have this big sun tiger sharks. Shark are a symbol of a Catholic Aquarium. Here we are with uh, Luca, it's uh, a partner in uh, Lago Dorta, he's the chief of Lago Dorta. We are entering here in the aquarium. We are going to have a look to the aquarium of Catolica. Super safety, you look that there, there is no holes. We are just about to leave a big shark tank. Uh, we, uh, we have a sand tiger. 
like the shops, they are very territorial variety of shops, the Maria di Cattolica, they just live in their own patch. And we are showing you what is, what is it like to see the shops from above. Oltre Mare Riccione, l'Università di Bologna e altri organi, come il Consortium in Lombardy, on the Ticino River, hanno uh, collaborato in modo di portare i sturgeons in the poor river, dove erano stati i kings e ora sono stati by da men, of course, by hunting. Questo progetto è inside our hub, salva una specie, save one species. And this story, this, this project is called the Kestorion, and so we are very, so very proud. And every year during uh, Fish Migration Day, we bring back to the river juvenile uh, specimen of sturgeons and of eels. So no traffic lights. 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 Let me present you Silvia, who is today our local guide. And please tell everyone where we are, what we are doing here. We are in Gradara, a medieval village, uh, which is situated a few kilometers far from Catolica. We are um, 150 meters above the sea level. Uh, Gradara is a medieval uh, village. Uh, we are just in front of the main entrance of the fortress. The fortress was built in the 12th century and it belonged to many famous Italian family like Sforza, Della Rovere, Borgia and also to the Pope. Now it belongs to the town hall. Beer that we have in Catolica. The taste is super nice, but the concept is, I think, better because they serve us wine. So let's try it. It's a pizza margarita with tomato and mozzarella cheese. We have two different uh, dishes of pasta. These are tagliolini. And this is spaghetti with vongole. And this vongole comes from the sea just behind us. So they are local. We're waiting for the dessert. So. Uh, we we feel come. like we are <laughs> waiting for the dessert, but... Pat no, pa good. Patata. And what is this? Sardoncini. Sardoncini. And this is piara. Yeah. Sort yeah. of flat. Yeah. These are sardoncini. I'll show you. Some sardoncini, some onion. And you need just to... Rico Rico! So we are entering the main beach, the venue place where we are going to live these two days. And now we have already first swimmers registering and few expos, so let's see what we have here. Help them to not be confused with the, the boys because 
now we have the sun in the front and it's very difficult to, to recognize the boys. They need to do an extra effort with PU and forces to swim fast and uh, not to lose the weight. to check if the feeding point is working well. This is the boat where the, where the swimmers arrive to take the, the bananas and the water. Let's go to check if it's working good. Give me one banana. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anda, we have the... Ah. Wow. Can we have some, some beers. No, no. 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 We have the liquid, the liquid gels. So it's not super typical for the races to give also gels and sometimes we have cookies but today we have bananas and water. Now we are going to see the pack with the, with the leaders. Our friend Luca is the race director of Lago Dorta but he came here to help. Bueno Luca, ¿qué te parece la carrera? Very nice, the competition. Even if it's the first one, first edition for Catolica. This is very good and the landscape perfect. Filippo, yes. the most stressed guy in Italy. <laughs> yes, probably for today, Why? yes. Why are you stressed? We are enjoying the sun, yes, Italy. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Because we have a lot of things to uh, thinking. Uh, so for me, it's the first. Uh, and uh, I know I, I like the sea, I like to go by boat, but uh, for me, it's the first uh, uh, for Ocean Man. And uh, I love it. I love that uh, there are a lot of people from over the world. For the first edition, it's perfect. Beautiful day, beautiful period, beautiful Catholica. to be here. We are here from Canada to participate in the inaugural Ocean Man and we've been excited waiting for this for a while. We know uh, this area because we come here as cyclists many times and participated in the Grand Fondo so right away when uh, we saw this was happening we make sure we're gonna be here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the best woman. Thank you, race Ocean Man Catolica 2021. We are now at the finish line. We are welcoming our 10 kilometers finishers and saying them congratulations because they did more than three hours of open water swim today in the super calm sea but still super long distance. Okay, dear Oceanman family, I want to present you Filippo Manini, who was swimming in the Olympics and also won many medals in European and World Swimming Championships. We are super happy that you came here to support our first race in Catolica. And tell us why you decided to come to support this event. Ah, okay. For me, Catolica is like my hometown because uh, I'm born in Pesaro, so a few kilometers from here. And uh, I'm very happy because after uh, these two difficult years for COVID, uh, I'm happy to see a restart the sport. I'm happy to be here for the young people and also for the oldest. This year I, I will be around in Italy uh, to meet the young people and uh, try to learn uh, my sport, swim. So I'm very happy and uh, good luck everybody.
last few swimmers to, to finish the sprint. And then, uh, yeah, in a few hours we start with the team relay event. Yes, it's good. Hey. <laughs> Horacio, what happened? The world is going to destroy us. We're playing the scenes. Today, a perfect, perfect day. Great weather. Right into the last second. <laughs> <laughs> okay.